with silky smooth words and said all right things and told you exactly what you wanted to hear. A nice, positive, inclusive message. But one thing is missing. These self-same self -same men voted for the Iraq war. These people who claim to be friends of Islam, they're hypocrites. And I know this, because I was on their scooties. I was a soldier in Iraq, a combat infantryman. I've acted as a bodyguard for these people. I've enforced their policy down the barrel of an SA-80 assault rifle. And to the Iraqi people, who Gordon Brown and Tony Blair and George Bush, to the people they referred to as collateral damage. The debate has moved on, mistakes were made, and all that bull, you know what. But to the Iraqi people, I stand before you as a soldier, a British soldier, and I look him in the eye and I say, I am sorry. I am sorry for what we did to your country. I am sorry for being part of an illegal and immoral invasion. And I accept full responsibility for that. The politicians won't apologise to you, but I will. You know, my brother was a soldier too, in the same regiment. He served in Kosovo and Bosnia, whilst I served in Northern Ireland and Iraq. And between us we saw a lot of blood spilt in different places. We both know of beloved friends and comrades who've lost limbs, who've been killed. Indeed, my brother, God rest his soul, is no longer part of this world. But I tell you this, I am sorry, and we are sorry, and I mean that. And the politicians won't say it to you when they ask for your vote. I will say it to you. So next time a Labour politician comes here and starts to talk to you about inclusivity and building bridges, mention Iraq, mention Iraq, ask him how he voted, ask him what his policy was on Iraq. Because I was one of that man's soldiers and I was a fool. Don't let that man fool you as he fooled me. Apparently we have a crisis, the credit crunch. Look at the enormous resources, financial, intellectual resources that have been all of a sudden devoted to solving this genuine serious problem. Ask yourself, why hasn't the same amount of energy been devoted to finding peace in Palestine, giving the Palestinian people a state, a homeland? Because the political will isn't there. Because the people who have had speaking here tonight, many of them are part of the military industrial complex and they profit from it. And no matter what they say to you here and how fine those words are, they don't want peace. They don't want peace in Israel or Palestine. Do you think they'd have gone to war in Iraq and Afghanistan if that was the case? They're hypocrites. And I can only apologise to the Iraqi people and say, I am sorry. Politicians are always willing to fight to the last drop of somebody else's blood. It's always somebody else's son, somebody else's daughter, somebody else's brother. Never them. Let's start holding these people to account a bit more. Okay? So please challenge them. Question them. Don't just give them empty applause. Ask them piercing, sharp questions. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. But I believe in right and wrong, and I believe in truth and justice. I've read the Bible, and I've read the Quran, and I understand the message in both books. And I would like to say to Gordon Brown, and George Bush, and all their military mafia, a small quote from the Bible, Mark 8.36. For what shall it profit a man, if he shall gain the whole world, and lose his own soul? That's my message to Tony Blair. Anyway, I think you've heard enough from me, and I'm sorry I've given you a harsh message and a tough message, but I think it's better than empty platitudes, because I've spoken from the heart. Thank you for having me.